We found a gem of a campground in Texas. So somebody told us about this small little campground and we were headed to Texas anyway so we figured that we would stop by and check it out. <laughs> we would visit Elmendorf, Texas. So if you're coming down to visit San Antonio, Texas or the Riverwalk or anything like that, this is a perfect spot for you to come because I think it's like 25 yeah, minutes. I don't, 20 maybe to 20. San Antonio. So never heard of Elmendorf but it's a very little town. There's nothing really here. Um, it's very nothing. rural setting. But this couple bought a campground that was in need of repair and updating is a nice way to put it. And they have been working their butts off. I won't say it's perfect yet, but we got to spend a lot of time with them. And it is very nice right now, but they still have a lot of plans in the works. The pretty cool thing is we got to back up and that which they call one of their premium sites or their number one site, which so is, I think is, it's number six. This is our deck. And it overlooks the meadow back there. Um, and this is our private deck. Like we have a fence behind us and there's a fence over here. So like this is our private area. Nobody can even really see. We can just hang out here and relax and enjoy dinner and the views. And you can't really see it. But on the other side of the meadow is actually the San Antonio River. Like this is where it flows down So you to. can get a little kayak if you want and then take the San Antonio River and go up to the river walk <laughs> if you really want to go to the Paddle river down. walk. But but, but they, so you can fish here, clearly. They have the river. Um, if you're a tent camper or even a boondocker, you can even park down in the meadow. I don't know what they charge for that. We did discuss that people could park there. Um, and of course they have pull through sites, they have back end sites, they have sites with concrete pads, they have sites with gravel pull-ins. And one of the coolest things I think is they have three little cabins that sleep anywhere from two to six, I think two to six people uh, that you can rent. And they brought them in and they could. And they're decorated just like oh she my God. likes. They are so cute. And <laughs> all this cool woodworking and, and tables and stuff that they've done in there and countertops. Like, all oh that was God. done here on site. By the lady that checks you in. Not the owner, but um, Debbie that works here. Like she has a huge knack for woodworking. And so stuff. Lisa's trying to put her in the back of the camper right oh now God. so she can do some work for us She and, our and I camper. could have so much fun. But anyway, so they have three little cabins. They're like complete cabins. They have a, a handicap accessible. I think they all have ramps yeah. going up, but one of them has the ramp going up. Everything inside is handicap accessible. They and have then a cool you deck. Open the door and you can take your take your um, wheelchair right out. Right on out. The, deck. The, the wheelchair can get all the way out on the deck, and the deck goes way out into the trees. So like you're way up in the air. Kind of like you're in a treehouse. Exactly. It feels like you're in a treehouse. It's the coolest little thing. So. Um, they have done an amazing job here and it's it's great to see somebody take something old and make something new out because of it. somebody likes to take junk and make something well, I do, new and i hate to see the campgrounds all across the country that are these old mom and pop campgrounds and when mom and pop are gone they just get sold off and they build houses or they just demolish or corporate the buys them and once corporate buys them then it's yeah. not it's not a, so, a reasonable priced campground anymore so this is not that this is mom and pop bought it um it was a mom and pop they bought it and they are renovating and they are doing an awesome job again it's 20 minutes from san antonio but there's lots of cool things to do here um so they even do, have, wait a minute, they even have target practice on the yes. weekend. So you know like, you're, you, that's when you know, you know you're, you're in Texas. Texas. <laughs> uh, if you travel with your firearms, feel free. Uh, and I don't know that they do it every Sunday, but they did it this weekend while we were here. So just there's a lot of fun stuff um, to do. And the owners are very involved in all the activities. They're here with you camping. Yeah, they're here all weekend. Um, sun up to sundown. They have game night, which everybody brings a snack. And we played Uno and we played left right center which i never played before i know it's crazy um but if you're coming to one of our meetups i think we're going to play that game for one of the prizes we so are. we learned we something are. new from that so. so they also have a brand new laundry room so if you want to come do your laundry we've done them twice while we were here and they have a fitness uh, center fitness center huge pool 
huge pool with like a kiddie pool that the water feeds into the grown-up pool. Now we're here in March, so it was a little cool. The, the water pool. was cold. Like um, today, it was 97 degrees two days ago, and now somebody's it's cold. It's like 50. It's crazy. 50 in the wind blowing. We brought the here cold clearly. Um, but anyway, and they have also have a hot tub. I'm sure we're leaving something out, but I know he got lots of good footage, so we hope you enjoy it. We recommend it. Um, I don't think they participated in any of the discounts that we subscribe to just yet, but we did discuss some of those while we were here, so who knows? They may show up on some of those, and if they do, we'll keep you posted. So what but, was a place called? You never said what it was called. Oh, it's called <laughs> Vista Ridge campground and the theme here is the good old days and it's very much that it's very much you feel at home and you're very welcome it was nice and quiet we stayed here what seven days or so so it was yeah, nice and quiet a week. it was beautiful he also pretty cool he bought one of those sky lift things uh, to get up into the trees so he can cut all the tree branches off the trees so when you bring your 13 foot six camper in you're not scratching your camper but while he was up there doing all that stuff he put on all these solar lights. So at night, at it, night when it gets all dark, lights in the trees. Yeah, all the trees are uplit, which, really are, cool. which is pretty cool. So just yeah. one of those little things. All right, guys, we're going to pack up out of here. We're going to check out and we're going to head a little farther north. We're going to. I don't even know that it's north. I feel like it's east, maybe due east. And see what we can get into over there. So until you guys find us camping at a newer, remodeled campground. Safe travels, y'all.